So yeah, I'm wearing blue lipstick today. That's a thing that I'm doing. But today's video is going to be answering all your questions that you left in my question section uh, a couple videos ago. And I got actually a lot of uh, responses about my dilemma about like flirting and shit. So thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you for that. It was semi-helpful. So I'm gonna answer the questions that you guys asked. Yay! Do you have your own band? I wish. I prefer to be on the other side, like watching the shows. I can't write music for crap. If you could live in any other state, where would it be? Either Oregon, or I could do New York. Oregon or New York, yeah. The weather, man. Oregon, New York, or like fucking the United Kingdom. Somebody asked, what nail polish are you wearing? I'm still wearing the same nail polish and it is Marjorie from Julep. I actually have it right here, um, right right there. There's no top coat on it, but this has actually surprisingly lasted like a week and a half on me, like, like this, it looks like that, but um, Julep's Marjorie, I like it. Top five favorite bands slash artists. I actually did a video about my top 20 favorite albums of all time, so I'll link you to that because I talk about music all the time, but the most important one that you need to know is We Are Scientists, but you already know that, right? Yeah. Any contemporary writers you like? Oh god, um, well I love John Green, but I feel like that's a given, at least in this community. I don't read honestly that much anymore, I really need to read more. I love me some Neil Gaiman. Uh, I love J.K. Rowling, just <laughs> J.K. fucking Rowling. Megan McCafferty was another uh, novel series, the Jessica Darling series that I loved. The only other things that I've been reading lately have been like autobiographies by like Tina Fey and Mindy Kaling. <laughs> so I'm usually a fan of women writers, just generally. If you have any suggestions for books I need to read, actually leave them in the comments because I need to read stuff, you know. And don't give me obvious ones like Divergent because I already know that. What, in your opinion, is the most underrated band? Oh, um, Menomina, Frightened Rabbit, We Are Scientists, and then locally, Ravenna Woods. Again, I'll put a link to actually my playlist about bands you need to listen to, because that's another thing that you could look at to find underrated bands and stuff, but definitely uh, Frightened Rabbit and Menomina and We Are Scientists are some of my most underrated bands that I love that deserve more credit. Have you ever been to Scotland? No, but I want to go so bad. Because I've heard beautiful things about it and I've seen photos of it and I have friends there and I'm like, I want to go there. And every band I've ever heard that are Scottish, I love. What's your favorite concert venue in Seattle? As far as clubs go, like little places, Numos is my fave. Um, but for like sit down, like bigger shows, the Paramount because it's just fucking gorgeous. It's a beautiful old building with like old architecture and like pretty shit and the ceilings are gorgeous and what's not to love about that honestly. <laughs> what is your favorite Queens of the Stone Age song? <sighs> I really like In My Head and Smooth Sailing and obviously Skin on Skin just because reasons. And do you listen to Beck? On occasion, I've never been like a huge like person that just got really into Beck's music just because he was really big when I was about like I don't know, 12? I like him, he's great, and I listen to him, just, I need to listen to him more. Do you play any instruments? Where's my guitar? This person, like, is really demanding, they're like, do you play any instruments and prove it, prove it right now at this moment? Um... Oh god, um, it, uh, my guitar, my sister has it, it's not here. And my accordion is packed away, but there's a video where I played my accordion, so that's proof. I played, like, a little, little bit, just a tad. What's your favorite hairstyle slash color you've had? Well, I really loved being a redhead. Uh, it's just a really big pain in the ass to keep up when you don't have naturally red-ish hair. This is my natural hair color on the top of my head, and this is what is left over from me being a redhead and then putting blonde on top of it. I honestly, I don't think I've ever been happier with a hairstyle and a haircut than what I have right now with how my hair looks just because it's really really healthy and I haven't cut it in a year and it feels really nice, it grows faster and I also really loved having a pixie cut. It was also another one that just took a lot of upkeep and I was really lazy and you had to get your hair cut really often 
So that was the only annoying part about having a pixie cut. What other things do you do besides makeup, go to shows, and work at Lush? I watch a lot of television. Who is your style inspiration and why? I always like getting this question just because I don't necessarily f emulate my my style on like one celebrity or one musician or one actress just because I think that's kind of weird. Like I don't look at Emma Stone or Alexa Chung and just be like, oh, I want to be exactly like them. A, because I don't look like them and B, that that's just weird. But I tend to kind of pick and choose like ideas from various places for, a lot from my friends. Probably in terms of just YouTubers that I kind of mesh with style-wise the most are my friends Georgia and Rachel. Um, and they both make YouTube videos and you probably already know who they are, but... Otherwise, probably my biggest like celebrity, like style inspirations, Alex Chung, just cause reasons. Kim Gordon, cause she's a fierce bitch. Emily Haynes and Brandon Flowers. I like menswear. I like menswear. It's dude stuff. Like grown ass man stuff, not like teenage boy stuff. And then the last question was, where do you see yourself at 40? And this was like kind of a loaded question for me. I'm like, oh my god. I always just think about what I'm gonna do when I'm 30. When I'm 40, I'm like, fuck. What I would love to do in this life, I would love to be able to kind of run my own schedule. I would love to just be able to to live on a freelance photographer and freelance like videographer type situation. Um, I would love to be able to pay my own health insurance. That 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 is my my like my goal, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. But by the time I'm 40, I definitely wanna like have a fucking house, like a mortgage. Um, married, just because like I'll be 40 at that point. I would love to be married. I honestly don't see myself having children because I would love to be able to travel. And that's kind of why I want to have like a freelance kind of life where I don't have to go to a nine to five job five days a week because I would love to be able to travel for my work. And you can't really travel with small children. And I would love to be in a partnership in a marriage with somebody who also loved to travel because I want to do that I want to be able to pay to go across the world and maybe get paid to go across the world like that would be awesome I just want to be so well traveled by the time I'm 40 because I feel like if you don't get out in the world and I feel like if you don't explore the world around you you're just not gonna feel like you did everything you could at least that's for me like I don't want to stay in the same place my whole life I don't want to stay in the same job my whole life I respect my father so much for having the same job for 35 years but that is absolutely not what I want he's been working at Boeing since he was like 19 years old and that is the last thing that I want for my life my co-worker Sam she's told me so many times she's like in five years if I don't see your name in Rolling Stone, I will be angry with you. Like, I will be mad at you if you don't get, like, become like a big time fancy photographer because you're talented. Like, she gets him a face about it and it's awesome. I definitely want to achieve something like that. Like that, that is a thing. That made me think a lot about my life. There were a couple of other questions that I got asked that uh, actually I have already answered in like long-winded like specific videos about them um, and I will link actually to a few that answered some of the questions you guys asked and uh, I didn't actually get that many more of the comments that I got from people were like oh you should talk to the guy keep talking to him so again thank you for the advice and it was actually helpful to hear from other people so let me know if you guys ever want me to do more of these I know that I get a lot of questions like requests to do videos so always feel free to leave me requests and questions because I do my best to answer all of them fuck yeah today's song of the day it is whoa 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 by Watsky Whoa, whoa, whoa is right, dude. Uh, that music video is so freaking cool. I suggest you go check it out right now because it's so good. And I'm so excited to hear new stuff from Watsky because I haven't seen him since like a year ago, at least a year ago. I don't remember, my hair was like short and red and stuff and like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get a video up on Monday because I have to wake up obscenely early because I'm going to Canada with my coworkers to go visit the Lush factory. So if I don't have a video up on Monday, that's why. If I do, I somehow manage to upload it. I don't know. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye!